Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Elgato uh, Stream Deck product and uh, how we can enable the debug mode for the plugin uh, development. It uh, will be a, a, probably a short video and uh, I, will, I will clone a repository from the Stream Deck Elgato so we can get the counter code so you can see how many times you are pressed on the button. Just to demonstrate how the debug, uh, uh, debug stuff working. And uh, I think that's it and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it by press the thing on the right corner below and if you have any questions please make a comment below and I'll try to answer them. And of course I really hope you want to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much and let's starting with this video. The first thing you want to, to do now it's going for the for the registry in the in Windows. So if you just press Windows key R then you get this prompt up and uh, then you can press rec edit this one and click on ok and then it's will going in the administrator mode and ask about it's okay to open and we are okay with that then you're going for the current user software Elgato systems you're scrolling down to the stream deck and uh, then you basically found it inside here if you don't have this uh, remote debug enabled you just say new one and then you need the D word key open it up and uh, add the, the HTML I will just go let me just remove this one I just copied here and then you say new and D word and then you push, press enter then you open it and you say decimal and you change it to one and click ok then you have uh, enabled the debug mode and you can now uh, close down the, the rec edit again and don't try to change anything inside if you don't know what happened you can damage your computer with that so don't do that and then we can we have the debug mode enabled you can just go in for localhost port 23654 and then you you should have this one when you want to uh, when you're going for the plugins you going for, for for your folder here and you just type app data and then you can say Elgato and then we're going inside and saying stream deck and then plugins and here we go this is all the plugins I have installed and um, that depends on how you're working and how th this so now we can go in for the repository I will, uh, I will clone it and show you how we can do this we need to go in back for the browser and whoops not, not this URL and then you create a new tab and I'll put uh, this one in and going for the repository inside here and uh, just download the code, download the zip file, and that's fine. And when it's uh, when it's ready, you can just go in for, for for the package and going for the folder again. And then I just going inside and going for the source, and I will copy this inside. Now I basically have the Elgato Capture Counter plugin. If you're going back here for the customer, it doesn't uh, load inside. So what you need, it's needing to close down the Elgato uh, streaming deck software, and uh, then going up again. You can see I have it here, uh, and then I will open the software again. And if I'm going for a custom here, I should have the counter we have it counter here and then I can just drag it inside here and uh, if I'm pressing on my own one you can see it will be one so let's going back for for the debug and see how we can work with this I'll be going back here and reload it and need the counter it should be here and when I'm pressing nothing happening and uh, you can see it inside here so wh what we're gonna do now it's going into the plugin and open 
uh, this code in the editor. I'll just open it in Notepad. It's fine for me. It's not so complex. And uh, then we have it here. And what we're going to do is say when you press the key down, I'll just say console lock and say I'm I'm hit by the on key down event. And that's it. Let's save again and reload it. And now when I'm clicking on it, you can see it's tricking. So now every console log you print out, it will be in the browser's console here. So you can basically see how it's working and how it's happening. So that's a little bit about how you can enable the, the debug mode in Elgato uh, SDK software and how you can download the calendar plugins from the GitHub. And of course, how you can a little bit quick add the, the console log to it. I really hope you enjoy. And I really hope you stay with me to the next video where we will learn even more. Please uh, press on the subscribe button in the thing below in the right corner. I hope you want to share and like this video. And if you have any questions, please make them comments below. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.